2004, Stratomatic Major League Baseball will be known for as the team that came back from a 3-0 deficit. The team that broke my Yankees heart coming back from 3-love. Dave Roberts getting the steal that ignited the Red Sox and woke him up from the dead like it was some zombie movie. The Red Sox went on to win Game 5 on a walk-off by David Ortiz, winning Game 6 behind the sock of Kurt Schilling, and then erupting in a blowout Game 7 win as Johnny Damon goes yard on a grand slam. The Red Sox go on and win the World Series, four games to love against the St. Louis Cardinals, and the rest was history. That was the first of their four world championships since 2004. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the STM. I bring you another coverage of my Stratomatic sorting process. As you see on the counter, you're looking at the top 10 players of the 2004 set by war. And I'll tell you, Holy shit. If you have never, this is almost Babe Ruth like in a bonds card. This is what, this is why this guy wouldn't uh, sell these to me or charge me anything because it had writing over because he's a draft guy. So bonds hit 397 virtual righties, 656 slugging, and a 956 on base. Holy crap. Um, or it's one of the others reversed. Well, that gave him about a 1.6 in war versus righties that year. Can you, you cannot get this guy out. I'm serious. You cannot get this guy out. If you're playing ballpark, strategy, good ballpark, you might as well give bonds the home run one to four with a nine dead roll. Everything else is something is a positive. Lefties isn't bad either, folks. Second best card, and this is a good one too, Adrian Beltre, because you see so many righties in a league, a 700 slugging and a 400 on base is a 1.1 is a 1.1 OPS versus righties. You don't see that as a reverse split guy who hits his own pitching as well. There's Ichiro, hit 370 that season. You see that card just loaded for bear. Then you got Scott Rowland. What makes this card exciting is he's a one defender, and he hits about 1.2-ish against left-handed pitching. Then you got King Albert. During this time period, he was probably a top 10 in war each and every year that he was in Major League Baseball, and that's why. Look at that Albert card. Again, about a 1.2 against OPS versus left-handed pitching. Number six, J.D. Drew of the Atlanta Braves. Again, solid card versus righty, very good. Again, Todd Helton, an underrated player, could receive Hall of Fame votes, but because he plays in Colorado and his splits are going to tell him otherwise, Probably won't, but boy, again, coming out of the University of Tennessee, a strong player, good ball player, great power. As you see by, by the cards he has, another fantastic season versus right-handed pitching. Then you got A-Rod, the year, first year as a New York Yankee, signing that big, signing that big contract. And then you got Miguel Tejada from the Baltimore Orioles. Just a solid shortstop, had a couple great years with the Oakland Athletics and the Baltimore Orioles. Number 10, another guy to consider Hall of Fame credentials. One of the premier center fielders in the game, 1E5 with a minus 2 arm, and also his best offensive season, Jim Edmonds of the St. Louis Cardinals. Again, folks, that is your top 10 in 2004 Major League Baseball according to war. Well, folks, this is STM, and I'm bringing you Stratomatic STM style here late at night at my job. As we continue to uh, continue to continue to work forward here, we'll show you 
a little more as I walk with the camera. This is what I've done with the cards this evening. I have not finished them. I put them in divisions from American League East, Central, and West. Mer National League East, Central, and West. I'm going to put these guys in teams, get them all together, and get them all set up to put away. Folks, I'm even looking forward to the possibility one day of seeing if I can reverse my curse and see if I can keep the Red Sox from winning four straight in a 2004 rematch of the American League Championship Series. You want to know more about me on the channel? Please hit like, please subscribe, and please hit the dinger bell. So when I do have something coming up on the channel you'll know about, I just started a 1953, I believe it is, uh, replay uh, playing the Yankees. I'm also going to do fast, uh, fast results for the rest of the guys. Um, they play the Washington Senators in the first game. That's up on the channel. 1976 American League replay. Original 76 print of replay. Advanced only. Again, what, what, great, what great presents I received when I opened up this box. I still haven't found the 1970 set, but I know it's in there. That's another hard to, hard to get in the Stratomatic community. That's in there. A lot of fun stuff, folks. I got a lot of great stuff coming on the channel. Then going to play some other loose games here and there. Uh, again, I'll have some other non-Stratomatic events coming up on there. Please, folks, let's get me to 100 back subs again if you can. I need to see if I can get back here in the community and build up some subscribers. Please like my stuff. Please comment if you want to see something else in particular. Please go ahead and hit the dinger bell and, and come into my live broadcast. And folks, you are watching another edition. And this hopefully is my Friday as I'll be off tomorrow. As this is STM's After Dark episode 2004 Stratomatic unboxing or unwinding as I take all the cards apart and start putting them team by team. And if you've seen also the top 10 in war with the Stratomatic cards I've shown you. So if you do any draft process, any draft leagues, those are your top 10 talents. Honestly, I'd go for including the Bonds card. No matter what you feel about them, no matter how many of these guys roided or what they do, they still exist in Major League Baseball, and you saw what cards they have. Just unbelievable. Folks, I've been playing Stratomatic for so long. I've gotten hit with so many nice things in my life. The first time I got back when I moved into this our place about two, three years ago, someone sent me a box of Stratomatic stuff, and that's where I got my 1920, my 1987, my 1988 sets that I use. And then this gentleman I just met recently just sent me 1991 forward almost every dang set possible, plus some loose years like like I said, 53, 82, 86, they're all in there somewhere, plus 70, plus 76, plus a Hall of Fame set, that's going to be in there also in the future. So for future editions of STM After Dark videos where I show you the best of baseball, what cards to look for in a draft special, and what makes Stratomatic so exciting just by looking at the cards and the numbers, I'll be here to give you that. So, folks, this is the STM. It is 4.30 here. I got about four hours to go. Still enough time to put these cards together in teams. Then go home, hopefully have the day off, and I'll have some streaming to do later. Have some nice, exciting games, including the 76 AL replay. So, again, please hit like, subscribe, and hit that dinger bell as I'll come to you right to your home hopefully most every night with a replay game. So folks, have a good night. STM saying good night everybody and see you later.